The locker is no longer just a space to store books and meet up with your friends. Lockers are a form of personal expression. Make a statement this year with back to school DIY crafts. And joining me today with creative ideas is crafting guru and author. We have Sophie Maletsky and she is here with some amazing crafts. You are so talented. Thank Show you. us some of the great things that you brought today. Well, you know, like you said, the locker has become like this haven for yes. children. It's like, you know, these teens and tweens, they all have a locker and they keep all their stuff there. So so what we've created is some stuff to help them organize through the day. This is a locker keeper, and I get this, it's made out of a recycled box. Oh, it is, it's a cereal box. It's a cereal box. Fantastic. And then these are toilet paper tubes. Okay, and they want you to flip that one more time so you can see. So exactly. See, look, there you go, it's a cereal box. And then obviously you are very talented with duct tape. So uh, that's where a lot of your decoration comes But you know, in, the right? thing is, you don't have to use duct tape. Okay. You can use masking tape, you can use paint. You know, you don't have to go out and spend a fortune on tape. Okay. You can use really whatever you have in your home. I love using recycled materials. Yes. And I think it's a great thing because everybody has cereal boxes, everybody has Ziploc bags. This is actually a portable locker keeper. You that can keep all your stuff, and this is made with... <gasps> Ziploc bags. There you go. No so, kidding. Right, and then you can roll it up at the end of the day and it seals itself. And that is so cute. Take it home with you. And what teenager would not like to brag about the fact that they made that themselves, right? Exactly, exactly. And over here we've got, these are just little containers like yogurt containers. Yeah, so you get granola in and stuff. Exactly. And, yeah. and you can keep your stuff in here and what you do Brilliant. is if you were to place a magnet on the back of it, uh huh. Just stick it in your locker. <gasps> Cute, there you go. Then it, So then it doesn't take up your shelf space. No, exactly, and then you can have them all lined up. So everything that you need, and you know, it could be erasers, pencils, whatever. You your need. earrings, yeah. right? Uh, Extra yeah. earrings, yeah, girls exactly. need that. And I love the pencil case too, by the way. That is really, really cute. This is a roll-up pencil case. And what again it does is it just rolls up like this. And, and sits. And then those are hair scrunchies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. And then your hair scrunchies. And also, too, I was thinking of uh, makeup brushes, exactly. right? Exactly. You know, Mom can do that. That'd what's really funny <laughs> is I get a lot of notes from kids who watch my uh -huh. YouTube stuff, and they're like, I could put my makeup button in there, and I can put my brushes. All these new ideas that they have oh, for the things that you're making. Absolutely. What are we making today? So I thought we would make a little ID pouch, Okay. but it also has a place for a key. Can you believe she made this? I'm so, I'm seriously, I'm so in awe. And a little money, you know. Okay, so it's got a little divider for a key. It's got a little spot for your ID to go in there for all the school IDs. You have to right. have that. And there's your key. And there's your key. And then a little spot for your money. And a little money. spot for your money. Okay. So that you can just pop it in a pocket. Well, let's do this. Show all me. All right. So let me bring this on over here. Cute. And so I've already made you your pieces. Why, oh, thank you. That's very nice of you. <laughs> so what are your materials, though? How do we begin this? So this is really, all of this is is duct tape. Okay. And it's this is a piece of duct tape fabric. All right. And it's actually easily made. You can find out how to make it on my website or on the book. And just, we're going to turn it okay. over like this. So, so, so get, th through your book or your website, mm -hmm. you make this base piece. Exactly. Okay. Well, all this it. is, uh -huh. is two pieces of tape stuck together. All right. But you show them how to fold it and cut it. Right. It I mean, basically, if you want to see how you do that, all you would do is take your tape like this. Uh-huh and fold it on top of itself like that and feel that. Now you have fabric. Uh-huh. Okay. That's it. Nice. That's it. That's okay. It. I'm going to go ahead and scoot this real fast because we want to make sure that we can show everybody exactly what we're doing. You here. got it. Okay. So, Melissa, we're going to turn this over. Okay. All right. And this is your, this is your ID part. All right. And this, believe it or not, is Packing made tape. out of... <laughs> That's, I, know, I know what that is because my five-year-old steals it all the time to do her arts and crafts. <laughs> you have no idea how much she's going to love your book and making this. So, okay. So, we got our packing tape for the nice little clear spot for so, the ID. Exactly. And you just place that there and we this just so cute. rub that down like that. And then we're to flip it over. So okay. can you just fold that up I, and over? I think I can do that. Exactly. Okay, up and over. Nice. No bubbles. I no bu nice, <laughs> and, nice and flush there. Okay. So then we have another little pouch back here for the key. So for this though, we want our, want our key just to make sure that we don't go too low or too high. Okay. And I'm just going to take this little guy and place it right there. All right. So you measure it up with your key. You mm -hmm. put it there for like a little visual. And here's your pouch. Okay. And what I've done is I've just taken a piece of tape and then I've placed a little piece of tape on the back of it. And then I've left sticky on the outside there. Oh, nice. Okay. So therefore it doesn't adhere to the key exactly, all the time. Exactly. You, which you've is got that nice little 
very important. Spot. Don't want your key to get stuck. Yes, there's yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can be like, I can't get it no, out. No, it will never fall out. <laughs> you, you may not ever be able to use it. So, okay, good. So I'm so going to put that there. Would you like to look out? seal that down? I would love to. Okay, yeah. So then I just go ahead and probably just line right along mm -hmm. the sticky spot. Exactly. There you go. And then you just remove your nice little key because you got that cute little pouch. Exactly. You could even put your quarter in there. A couple you, quarters yeah, for you your, could. your potato chips. Right, or if you lived on the East Coast, oh, bus token or something like that. There you like go, that. bus token, yeah. Now we're going to match it up and make it look nice. So okay, I'm just going to have you press okay. that down. And then it, is, is this uh, just a, another piece of decoration? This is just actually a little bit of embellishment tape, exactly. Okay. But we are going to seal on this side. Okay. And pulling it over like that. No kidding. And pulling that. it over like that. Now, we do want to seal our sides because right now it's everything's going to, yeah, our money's going to fall out. So we've got two more pieces of tape. And what I'm going to have you do, mm -hmm. we call this the half on, half off technique. Okay. So you're going to place your tape along the edge, and I'm going to let you do this. Got it. But it's half on, half off. See how All you right. have the sticky there? So now just fold that over. Very nice. Now you're sealed. Now I'm so. What do I do? And with don't this? worry about that little end because we're just going to trim that off. Oh, okay, good. So I'll just go ahead and stick it yep. together. Nice little tab on the. And end. let's do our other side too. So okay. half on, half, half off. off. Would you mind folding that? I over? love this. I have no problem doing this. I can totally master this. You know the thing about it is and it's so can actually. Six-year-old. I was going to say. Well, that's what I was going to say. It's actually good for any age. Uh -huh. The only thing that younger children I've found have issues with is is the cutting and ripping of the tape. Mm -hmm. So as long as you have an adult present for that, they can yeah. really pretty much handle anything else. And you are absolutely brilliant. This is just one small example of the amazing things you create. I understand you're quite the YouTube sensation, so people can find you on YouTube. Yes, they can, and mm -hmm. they can go to our website, which is www.sophie dashworld.com and awesome. the great thing about our website is not only do we have videos but we also have step by steps because you know people Perfect. learn in different ways exactly you know some people like to just see a picture uh -huh. and words some people like to see a video so we have both so you have some nice visuals and then also cannot forget your book sticky fingers where can people find that they can find that on Amazon uh -huh. of course and in most bookstores Barnes and Nobles all of those places carry it or they can go to our website and they can get it there and they can get a signed copy from me oh wonderful <laughs> nice little autograph there Sophie thank Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure. You are so fantastic. I Thank love you. it. I'm inspired. Now I have a play date designed for my daughter.